Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how to fetch the URL of any application, any web application using Tosca automation. So in other tools, it might be straightforward, but in case of Tosca, the process is a little different, it's just in case you are not aware. And let's say in this particular URL, I want to validate that my handle is displayed correctly or not. As well as if I'm clicking on something and it is navigating to some other page, am I able to validate that it has loaded the correct URL or not? Okay. So let's get started. I'll go to my Tosca and I'll start with a scan. So one thing to understand here is whenever we scan any web application, what happens is, or, or for that matter, desktop or any other application, Tosca e tries to identify on which technology it is built. So in case of web applications, it will by default select HTML here, but HTML is going to only contain the elements which is inside the page. Now, in case I want to click on this, I want to grab the address bar, or if I want to grab this, this, these are browser based things. So it will not be able to detect that. So for that, what we can do is we can right click on this and we can use any other engines. So let's say I select UIA and I click on scan. Now I'll be able to interact with these elements. Once this is loaded, I'll show you. So this is loaded, I'll click on select on screen and I'll navigate, I'll move here. Here you see it is able to grab address and search bar. So I'll just click on this. Here if you see, I'm able to get this button as well. I'm able to get this button as well. So in case you want to navigate using this, you can do that as well. Now, whenever we scan any page, we need to make sure that whatever name title or whatever it is taking it is basically generic enough so that if i'm navigating to other pages it is going to work in those cases as well so whatever information could change it's a good idea to remove that and put a wild card so i'm just putting a wild card here and i'll click on ok now here if you'll notice in the address and search bar we have to first try to find out which property is basically capturing my URL information. Okay. So if I go to text here, this is what it is capturing. So let me just zoom this and showcase. So here you see youtube.com slash at the rate corporate IT education is coming. Now, what I can do is I'll quickly save this and I'll close this and go back to Tosca and I'll move this module to my test cases section. I already have created a blank test case fetch URL. And since we are trying to validate, we'll put the action mode first as verify. Okay. Now, here you click on this blue icon, you'll be able to see that in this particular section, you will find certain fields and whatever you want to validate, you can mention here. Okay. So this does not mean that only these properties could be used any property which is listed in this module attribute can be used for validation. And if we want to verify something, you sh we should not select that as an identification criteria. Okay. Now, if I want to put this here, it is fine. If I want to just write it down, I need to write it with a dot sign. Why exactly? Because that, that is how Tosca works. So if I write anything here, you see there is a dot here. So let's proceed in that way. So I'll remove this and I'll put dot T E X T and I'll put double equal to sign and this is what I'm seeing. So I'll just capture this. Okay. Now, sometimes if you copy, you'll see that it is taking HTTPS www dot and all. So we'll understand in the later half of the video, how to validate that as well. But for now, I'll just remove this and whatever is visible in this particular element, I'm going to take that. Now, the moment you see, if I'll click out of it, it'll turn into blue and this will turn into green. Let me just zoom this out to showcase you. So this is how it is going to display. Okay. Now let's run this quickly and see if it is actually working fine or not. Okay. Now there are other ways as well. We can validate this. So whenever you even scan the HTML page, you will find a URL section. Maybe if you want, you can buffer it directly from there because on the top header section, you will not be able to put any action mode or anything here, but you can fetch when you're scanning and that you can validate. You can do in that way as well. But what this idea, what this particular solution, what I'm showcasing would do is it will work 
with all the pages of your application. So let me maximize this and showcase if the verification was successful. And here you see this is what we were expecting and this is what we got. Okay. Now we'll try to understand one scenario in which let's say we are performing any operation on this page. I'm clicking on something and it is navigating to another page. How would I validate that? So let's say I'm clicking on membership and now forward slash membership is coming here, right? So how will I validate that? So for that, I have already actually captured this module membership. So I will move this here and I'll put this in this particular section and I'll perform a click statement here. Okay. So that I'm able to move to the next page and then I'll copy this and I'll put this back here. And this is what I'm expecting. So I'll just copy this particular portion and I will put it in this particular section. Okay. It is taking the starting section as well. So I'll just move this out and I'll click out of it. Okay. So we should be good here. Now let me make the state of the application same as before and let's check this out if this actually works or not so i'll click on run in scratch book it is going to first validate this corporate id education at the rate handle and then it is going to click on membership and then whatever url is loaded it is going to validate against that okay now what happens is the address bar is always going to be similar so this particular methodology could work on on all of your uh, pages so let's see what went wrong here. So if I click on this verification has failed and here I see that. Okay. So actually by mistake, I have put uh, two times here. So that's why so let me just remove. Let me remove the entire part and I'll just copy this because somehow I have copied this incorrectly. So this is till membership only and from here. So I'll copy this and I'll put it here. And now if I move back, it should work fine. Okay. So I'll just quickly run this as well. Okay. Till the time the validations are happening, I would just like to inform that there are a lot of other videos on my channel. Interview question series is there. I have full length tutorials on Tosca. So do check those out and do drop a like and comment on my channel on my videos if you like the content so here you see the validation is working fine so that's how we can validate it across our application okay now here we wanted like let's say i want to validate the entire thing https slash forward slash dot and all those things okay so you see if i double click on this then it by default loads the entire thing okay but when we were scanning, the element was basically capturing only this particular section. Okay. So how we can do that? Let's take a look at that. Okay. So this is the search bar. What I'll do is I'll make a copy of this. Okay. And I will move this to the top because first we'll perform an action on this. So I will change the action mode to input first and I will do a double click here as I have done it manually, right? So in case of Tosca or in case of automation, we will always try to mimic the operations. So I'm clicking on double click here. Okay. Now what happens is since this value is loaded now or whatever value, uh, whatever URL thing is there, we would try to grab that value, right? So what we'll do is instead of validating in the text section, what I'll do is I'll buffer this value. Okay, and I'll write some of the buffer name. So let's say uh, I'll write maybe URL extract. Okay, now this is the buffer which is going to contain this value. And then if I want to validate this, I can use anything else. So let me remove these sections. Uh, again, explaining the same thing would, would be iterative. So in order to validate 
we have the option called tbox evaluation tool so i'll use tbox evaluation tool so what this inbuilt method gives us is we can pass an expression here okay why we are using this i'll showcase you so first i'll pass a buffer and i'll put url extract okay and i'll close this and i'll close this and here i'll put double equal to sign and we want to validate the entire thing so let's capture this okay and i'll make sure that it is in the same state and i'll put that value here okay now what we are doing exactly here is we are first double clicking on this so that it displays the entire url that we are buffering and then we are validating that here now you might think that why we are buffering it uh, we'll see i'll explain you that so first let's see if this actually works or not so the reason for that is there are cases so here you see it is double clicking now it will capture this value and then it will validate so here you see we are seeing the failure now here we see that missing at end of line this thing okay so sometimes what happens is whenever special characters come into picture then the the uh, the validation the verification option might not work okay so in those kind of cases you have to escape that so how we can do that is we have to put quotes here so you put a single quote here and you put a single quote here okay i can put a single quote here and i'll put a single quote here as well okay now it is going to skip those values and it should be able to verify this okay now if i was using the text property i would not be able to put this thing on the text section so let's see this now now since this has already done that so let me reload this so that it comes and double clicks on that so now we are in the same state let me run this so double click on this and then it is capturing this and our validation is working fine so wherever you run into these conditions you can always use this okay so that pretty much covers up the entire video this was actually one of the comments on on one of my videos and uh, i have made a video so that uh, it can help out that people thank you for posting that question and uh, do mention in the comment section if you have any questions i'll try to see if i can provide a solution to that and try best to help you out thank you very much have a great day bye bye